Brosimova. She won at the foul. Good heads up play by Brosimova. Uh, you know what's happening is Connecticut's double teaming. So if Tennessee's patient and reverses the ball, they should get better shots. Somebody's open. Under a minute to go. Another big possession. Offensive foul called on to Mika Williams. And how about Randall stepping in? The recognition. Wow. See, they get Williams isolated on the block against Snow. Snow went for the strip. And who recognized some Mika Randall drop down from the middle of the paint? That smart team defense. <laughs> Little pick and roll. It doesn't work. The defense is in perfect position. You get the isolation. Everybody clears. But watch the rotation right there. And she knew it. <laughs> she is the emotional leader, no doubt about it of this team. All right, Eugenia Oriema, you're up by one. 46 seconds left to go. Three timeouts left for Tennessee, just two for Connecticut. This is a key moment in this ball game. I think Pat Summit has got to address the trap that Connecticut's thrown. I mean, they picked the prime time to do it, Robin. It's down to the stretch. What do you want more than anything in the game right now? You disrupt your opponent. So they throw that trap. But if they're patient and they reverse the basketball and get the weak side, something Pat Summit said they didn't do the first week, Robin, they're going to get that shot. Coming up, Rivalry Week presented by America Online continues. The Husky men taking on Villanova. This is going to be a hard act to follow. Tennessee down by one. That's going to call a timeout because she saw the zone. And so she's going to make her adjustments off that zone. Did a good job saving her timeout at three. Now two remaining for each one. Again, Connecticut has not lost this year. They are 19-0. Undefeated teams in women's division one. Texas leading the way. Connecticut Huskies going 35-0. Tennessee led by Shamika Holtzclaw going 39-0. And again, this is so crucial. But both sides have said, you know, the, the world doesn't end in the outcome of this game. Both these programs do a great job a pointing toward March. They want to do whatever is necessary to get them ready for the tournament. I think Gino earlier in the year had a great comment, Rob, and he said, we don't schedule games. We schedule learning experiences. And I think both programs, similar situation. It is all about March. Remember three years ago, Tennessee won the championship with 10 regular season losses. And three losses this season. Muffet McGraw at Notre Dame has made similar comments. Andy Landers, similar mentality. Last fight for Mika Randall. Lots of plenty of time for the Connecticut Huskies. Quickly. And Pat Summit saw, jumped up and saw something. And made Dennis DeMeo stop play, I think. He just, she did yeah. jump up and point something out. She may have quickly called. Tough shot. But a quick hit in case, Robin, you didn't score there. You needed to get it back. Absolutely. 15 points now for Randall. Now it's Connecticut's turn. Down by one. Yes, indeed. They had two timeouts, now one remaining for Tennessee. 13.6 seconds left to go. And this is like a heavyweight bout. Each one taking their best shot and coming back. Coming up next here on ESPN, the Connecticut men taking on Villanova. Connecticut number seven in the country. Sue Bird, the difference maker, according to Pat Summit in the first game. How about the ability to pull up on a dime against Ace Clement? They felt like they could attack Ace Clement off the dribble. They do so late, and they pay dividends. 15 points now 
for Sue Bird. Well, I tell you what, these folks got their money's worth. Yes. Sold out crowd here at Gamble Pavilion. This is the 10th meeting between these two. Only three games were not sellouts. Played before 24,000 January 8th in Knox Vegas. Now remember, they made the Randall take a quick shot because they wanted another chance if she missed it. Will they do the same here? Four seconds left. Plenty of time, and you don't. Yeah, exactly. What a use this here. Oh my goodness. This is quality basketball. Each possession, taking your time, getting the shots you want, and knocking it down. Good pressure ball by both clubs. Now, this is a very tough shot. The little inside out dribble. Two players come over. Sue Bird Bird has got a hand on the ball. <laughs> and she's still able to score. Randall is not going to be denied, and her teammates are letting her know it. 17 points for Randall. And she's like, I'd love to see the, the difference in the reaction of the two benches at a key moment like that. That's what it's, uh, it's all about, folks. 4.4 4 seconds left to go here in Gamble Pavilion. This is when you want that rule that the professional leagues had, that when you call timeout and you haven't advanced the ball, you get it at half court, because now you got a full 94 to go with 4.4 on the clock. Oh, yeah. Buckle up. And now Pat Summit calls a timeout. So remember, you get five 30-second timeouts during these games. And what she's doing is she's making sure there's no margin for error, Robin. And you get an extra one, you to go to OT, so you're okay. That is a difference. Again, rivalry week presented by America Online continues next with the Connecticut men taking on Villanova. Right now, the Connecticut women's team in danger of losing its first game of the season. They're 19 and 0. They've been number one since the preseason. Tennessee and Connecticut, we can't say enough what this moment means for them to agree to play a home and home series like this, knowing that they're going to battle like this every time. Well, you've got fiercely competitive coaches, Robin, who always have the best talent in the country and that they would uh, schedule two during the regular season says a lot about them. Going to pay dividends in the end. Tamika Williams possibly was fouled, but no call. Well, I think that some people around the country maybe question Tennessee. The 27-point hurt put on a 